now what we will be doing we will be talking a bit about the you know your uh, going ahead and talking about the bit laws what are the general national themes because we have talked about the compliance laws regulations we were talking about that some of them are going to be basically very you know focused on a particular region laws right those things are going to be in there now what is going to be uh, there is we'll be talking about this some what are the some kind of the general themes that you will be asking or you know thinking about there over itself so when we are talking about this some general national themes over this particular part so there is first of all there is going to be the you know many countries that have adopted a national or you know omnibus laws over there so those apply to all category of the personal data and even the your so they are going to apply to your they are just going to apply to the uh, specific categories of the data that are you know you are intended to protect from the you know uh, you are you want to protect the privacy of individuals and these laws as a national you know they are going to apply to the all specific categories of that data right that is the first thing then that these laws they are going to contain a provision that is going to require the adoption of your security measure you know acknowledging that the you know the, you are making sure that security of all the personal data is important and you are making everything to protect the individual privacy right so they will be in the some law will be forcing you to take or adopt some very specific security measures throughout the you know that particular region that this should be this thing should be whether you are processing it protecting it how you are protecting it and on the same thing there will be something which is driving everything today that is going to be the cross border you know data transfer so many countries they prohibited or even restrict the transfer of the you know information out of their geographic borders you know which is generally known as the geofencing they are not allowing you to leave that particular area and this very really good example that recently in the news was that you know battleground mobile of india which was actually the pubg and you know they have banned that pubg last i think in 2020 during that covid scenario and all after that they you know banned that even after that you know they return as the bgmi and they were saying that their server is no longer located over there but yes again government find out that data is going to the you know your china servers and then again they kind of ban that whole thing over there one more time so they are not allowing it to leave so in many cases cases the transfer is permitted only if country to which your data is being transferred it is offering the adequate level of protection as defined by relevant national laws for privacy you know privacy so on your same level that you are applying or better than that so only then your organization is going to allow the your you know exchange of the data and sometime it is going to be based on the you know between two countries if there is some law that has they have signed so that this will be working over there as well like you know there is a bit a uh, kind of a treaty between the you know us and the you know european union as well so we'll be talking about that as well now some countries they are beginning to require the certain data to be stored within their territory and this is the case for you know example with the new data localization law of your russia and china which require very specific personal data of their individual you know civilians to reside in their country and store within the country borders over there so this is what the data localization laws are talking about now when we are talking about these laws and everything so the one of the great example of the modern day privacy stems in the you know organization for economic cooperation and development so they came up with the guideline on the protection of privacy and transport flow of data broadly classified into the eight principal or guideline of the oecd this is your organization for economic cooperation and development so they come up with this idea so so they have given the eight principles over here 
that what we can require, you know, how to classify and what should be there for the, you know, uh, what law should be having, what principle you should be following for the data and data privacy. First is your collection limitation principle. So if, you know, when we are talking about the collection limitation principle, that there should be some limits to the collection of your personal data, like any data, but whatever you are obtaining or collecting, they should be lawful and even by the fair means. Second, the data quality principle, which regards this one, it regards personal data should be relevant to the purpose for which they are being used and extent necessary for those purpose. So unless the data is absolute necessary for that particular, you know, if you know, you don't require my name, so don't collect my name, right? Why you are collecting my name? So unless it is, you know, necessary for the purpose that you are saying that, you know, this is why we are collecting the data. Unless it is absolute necessary, do not try to collect the unnecessary data over there. That is the your data quality principle. So the data should be relevant to the purpose for which they are being used, right? And then there is the purpose specification principle which is going to relate to the purpose of you know purpose for which personal data is collected should be specified at the time of the data collection right not later so if i am collecting the data at the same time i have to define that why i want to collect that data and the subsequent use of limited to fulfillment only to those purpose right so at the time of you know let's say that i am giving you a form where you are entering your data detail card detail so this thing should only be you know at the time that you will be specifying why i am collecting this data then there is the technique of your use limitation principle over there so which you know what this has to do with this has to do with the your personal data should not be disclosed made available or otherwise used for the purpose other than those you have specified okay except if you want to use something that you un unless you have the consent from the your data subject so this is the use limitation you are putting the limited you know use limitation over there that you cannot disclose or you know make that data available to anyone or use for some other purpose which you have not stated and if you want to do any of those things you should be having the you know consent from your data subject in advance over there and there is security safeguard principle so you know security safeguard principle is what you know, focus on personal data being protected by reasonable security safeguard against risk or loss or unauthorized use of distraction or modification right so when we are talking about you know what we are saying we have to protect that data that what we have there should be proper you know, security measures in place and you have to protect against all risk of loss unauthorized use destruction modification prevent it from all the things then there is going to be the your openness principle which is going to tell you that there should be a general policy of openness about the what are the developments regarding the data right what are the you know if you have developed any practices policies with respect to personal data this should be open to everyone it should not be the case that i am not aware you know because i have agreed to you earlier and you change the policy and then you know i am not even aware that what is happening with my data so this should not be happening and you know after that there is the individual partition you know, participation principle where individuals should have the right to obtain from data controller or otherwise confirmation on whether the data is with them or not on how the data is being used okay so this is the something so they have the right to obtain you know uh, individual should be having the right to get the data from a data controller or otherwise confirmation on whether the data is with them or not or whether it is leaked or not okay where the data is being used that is the something individual participation principles like sometime i want to delete my whole data yeah you should be allowing me to do that okay and finally there is the accountability principle 
which has to do with the not exceeding the original re region of use right you should not be casing you know saying that you know we will not be sharing your data and later you are saying that we will be sharing your data so we are talking about the not exceeding the original region of use okay discarding the data or deleting the data with the reasonable time and with the reasonable manner itself and actually you have to communicate what is happening with the data and other challenge when it come to maintenance of data so all these things are the principles that was defined 